Hello guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie and today I'm going to be making chalupas. Now I absolutely love Pinterest. They have so many ideas for recipes. If you're looking for recipes, they are everywhere on Pinterest. If you're looking for a uh, projects or how to make something like a craft of some sort they are filled with ideas but one of the things I cannot stand is to try something on Pinterest and it doesn't turn out well at all and all everything that I've read says that it worked great and it looks good or whatever it might be and then I make it and it's a total flop and so I thought it would be fun to take some of these ideas that are on Pinterest and to try them out and see if they work. So I'm gonna start with the recipe today. It's for chalupas. If you've ever been to Taco Bell, you know that chalupas are kind of like a fluffy kind of bread that are fried and it's filled with all of the wonderful taco um, ingredients right inside of the shell and it's just a yummy taco, but I have never tried making it at home. And so this recipe I have never made in my life before. I am getting this recipe from besugarmama.com. And it's the website is called Brown Sugar, a city girl making life look sexy. So we're going to see how this recipe turns out and what happens in the recipe. So let's get started. So to start off with, you're gonna to wanna to heat your oil. I used my cast iron pan, which worked great. And then you can start on the batter. You're going to take two and a quarter cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and one ounce of shortening. And you're gonna want to mix that all together first before you add anything else. And once you have all the dry ingredients mixed with the shortening, you're going to slowly add some milk to that and it's going to make a batter. Um, this doesn't have to be mixed very long, just long enough to get it mixed together. Now you're going to lightly flour the surface and you're going to pull your dough out and you're going to knead it maybe three or four times and then start shaping it kind of in an oblong shape. They suggested about eight inches long. And so once it was that size, then you're going to cut it into eight pieces. And I kind of thought a few of the pieces looked a little long. So I just kind of cut the end off of a few of the longer pieces and added it to some of the smaller pieces. And then you're going to start rolling each piece into a ball. Now once you have that done, you can take and flour your surface again. And take each ball and you're going to roll it out into the shape of a circle that is about four to five inches wide. So once you're done with the rolling process, then you can move on to preparing your plate for the frying. And I just took paper towels and put one way and then the other, and then I laid my rolling pin down on top. 
Then it was time for the frying process. They suggested that you take tongs and hold one side while the other side fries. And once it's just about brown, you can flip it over and do the other side. I found it e easy to do that, but then when it was time to flip it over, I just kind of let the other side go and grabbed the side that had been frying. Once that's done, you can take it out of the oil and you can lay it across your rolling pin. That's what I did. Um, it seemed to drip dry just enough and they turned out nice and crispy. You can add anything you want to it, all kinds of taco fillings, and then you can enjoy. And this is what it looked like when it was completely done. They were delicious, they were crispy, and yet fluffy. This was a good recipe. I believe that it, it was not a flop. So um, my family loved it, my son loved it, so it was a good recipe. But I will catch you in the next video. For those who would like to subscribe, you can hit that red subscribe button down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.